<laughs> okay. As we talked about in the production possibilities curve, there are three ways to shift the curve. And one of them is um, trade. And while we'll talk about trade a lot more in macro than micro, um, comparative advantage and absolute advantage in picking the, um, who trades what is part of the micro unit and it will get a, our appetite wet for foreign trade. So, let's start with absolute advantage. Absolute advantage is which country can make more outputs in this situation. This is an output. How many tons of wheat each country or how much sugar or pan. So for absolute advantage, you just look, United States can make, makes 30 tons of wheat, Brazil makes 10, so therefore the United States has the absolute advantage over Brazil. Um, in sugar, the United States makes 30, um, Brazil makes 20, so the United States has the absolute advantage there. For absolute advantage, a country could have the absolute advantage for both. Now, comparative advantage. Comparative advantage is who has the lowest opportunity cost. And the country with the lowest opportunity cost is always going to specialize in that product. Okay? So one of the benefits of foreign trade is the ability to specialize, make things at a cheaper price, and then trade them with other countries, which would be higher opportunity costs for you. Again, this is an output problem, and we use the ooh, ooh, o o o stands for output other over. So what do I mean by that? So I'm looking to see who has the comparative advantage in wheat. So I take the United States 30, and I remember, ooh, other, sugar, over. So 30 over 30 is 1. Now I look for Brazil. Brazil wheat is 10. I take the other, the other product, sugar, and I put it over. 20 over 10 is 2. 1 is the lowest number, so it's the lowest opportunity cost. So I know the United States should do comparative advantage in wheat. Now, in comparative advantage, if one country has a comparative advantage in wheat, Brazil has to have the comparative advantage in sugar. Okay? Now, if the United States has the comparative advantage in wheat, and we're going to make more wheat, we will export that wheat to Brazil and input sugar. Okay? So that is kind of one of the things that confuses students about foreign trade. And just to repeat, you emphasize and always remember who has the lowest opportunity cost. When you're taking the other, again, if we're looking at wheat, it's the other product sugar over wheat, 30 over 30 gives you one, and then you're looking for Brazil, 20 over 10 gives you two. The United States at one is the lowest opportunity cost, therefore they do wheat. And if we would just try to figure out sugar here, Again, the United States, you would do the other wheat, 30 over 30. And then here, Brazil sugar, you take the wheat, 10 over 20 is a half. A half is smaller, so Brazil does sugar. Thank you.